Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing Christmas Cartesian art on West Explains Best. This is a worksheet from Math Drill, so if you want to find this and do it on your own, go to mathdrills.com. I'll include a link in the description. But anyway, the main premise of this is we're going to be plotting points on the XY coordinate plane, and these are our points. We're going to take six different little lines here that we're going to connect. And then it's gonna form a picture and who knows what it's gonna be. It's gonna be something festive because this one, unlike our turkey we did for Thanksgiving, has colors. So this is gonna be kind of cool. All right, so anyway, how do we read this? Well, the first number is our X coordinate. This is gonna tell us our left and right. I talk about this in the turkey video. And the second number is gonna be our up and down, okay? So if we're looking at this, Okay, left and right, this is our first number in the parentheses, is we're gonna look here, we're gonna find this number, and then we don't plot a point yet. Then we look at our second number, this one, and we go up and make a point right there. Okay, so our first point is 2550. So I'm gonna go to 25 on my X coordinate right here, and then I go all the way up until I get to 50, and I'm gonna make a point right there. Kind of sloppy, but it will work. All right, then we have 3440. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to 34. Again, X coordinate first, and then I'm gonna go all the way up to 40 right here, and I'm gonna plot a point, okay? And what do I do from there is I connect it with my line. Now, this one's gonna be easier than our Thanksgiving day one because our Thanksgiving day one, we had uh, negatives. This is all positive, so this is gonna be nice, quick, simple, easy, but it's gonna make a nice little picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed that process up so you can see what it looks like, okay? Maybe that was a little hint, that song. I don't know if you were able to hear it, but that song was a little bit of a hint of what it is. Oh my gosh, it's a Christmas tree. Now we're doing the different colors here. You can see the ornaments going up and the lights. Okay, got my purple ones going here. And now for my orange lights. And we're done, okay? So this is what it looks like, the finished product. But I'm not content with how it looks like, uh, just this. So I'm gonna add some spice to it. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna use, this program's Notability that I'm using. It's great for doing pictures, taking notes, all that kind of good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the trunk of the tree. Okay, I'm gonna get this nice and layered here with my highlighter function, okay? I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna add some brown lines now. Okay, so I'm gonna add some brown lines just to make it, the bark look a little bit more textured. Okay, and actually I'm gonna make it a little bit darker in some spots and lighter in others. Okay, and you can see with my highlighter function, this is pretty easy to do. And let's add another coat. Let's make it nice and dark. Cause we got a dark wood for the base of our tree. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Now I, I wanna get the main tree itself and I'm gonna use this dark green. I think that's the best choice, okay? And it should not cover the lines, which is good. I'm gonna do my best to not pick up my pen. Okay, sometimes it can be, Apple pencils can be a little tricky. But now we see the ornaments pop out a lot more after we do that. So if you're following on Notability, let me know if you are, first off. I'm looking for a sponsorship from them. I don't think I'll ever get it, but. Uh, if you're using an Apple Pencil and using Notability, you want to keep this uh, pencil con in contact with your screen and just keep it going the whole way. I like to do the, kind of the outline first, and then I have this like little buffer zone, and then I just kind of fill in. It helps if I increase the size of it, but I'm afraid to pick up my pen as I've already described. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll with the size that I have. And I, if I go outside the lines, I can use an eraser to fix it later, okay? And I actually am not too bothered by some of those outside the lines. I actually might add a few more, okay? Because it kind of makes it look a little bit more textured. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit. I'm going to actually thin the size out a little bit, and I'm going to make it a little bit more swoopy, okay? And I'm going to just add a lot more texture to this tree. Okay, so I'm just going to add texture and it kind of swoops down. So what I'm doing here is I'm swooping like this, just repeatedly, because that's what the pine branches look like. They swoop down like that, okay? And then I go the opposite direction, 
Okay, so in opposite direction. And I'm actually gonna have some go for the front direction so it doesn't look so matted, okay? So now I'm going front direction, you can kind of see it there, just so it has a little bit of depth and texture. Okay, and I'm trying to go as fast as I can here. I know you guys wanna to get to your own drawings or if you're following along at the same time, that's great also. Okay, so I'm just adding some texture. I'm just working my way down the tree. Generally what they do, the branches get a little bit bigger. So I might even increase the size a little bit. So I'm gonna increase the size because the branches get bigger as you go down the tree. And I really need to emphasize kind of having longer swooshes. Okay, and you can see I go outside the lines a little bit. That is 100% fine. No trees are gonna look this two dimensional or triangular, I should say. So I have my lines going, okay, and I have a little bit too much of an upward slope going with some of these, okay, so I need to increase kind of like the flat direction, the linear rate at which I'm pulling across the tablet here, okay, and I'm basically done with that. Okay, so it looks a little bit better. I think my it leaves a little bit to desired, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull out this yellow, and I'm going to add... Some ornaments here so here's some ornaments i'm just gonna intersperse them throughout okay there's that color i'm gonna add some blue ornaments in here okay and a good choice for ornaments well actually this is great if you're a michigan fan michigan football alum right here so here we go some red ornaments and i'm just kind of keeping it basic but it, you can tell it's adding a lot just from simple dots you can really add a lot of spice to it and now for the star of the show, no pun intended, I'm gonna add this to the top. Nice little shining star. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna color it in yellow. So it's shiny bright, just like all your futures. And almost done here. I'm gonna lower it, I can grab this little tool and I'm gonna lower it right on top of the tree, nestled right in there. If you want, you could even add some presents to the bottom, but that's pretty much it. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial video on Christmas Cartesian, and I hope that you have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and a wonderful New Year. Take care.